Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and this week we are going to take a look at the up and down season of Mariners right-handed pitcher Justin Dunn. But before we do, remember to smash the like button and subscribe so you don't miss any new content. Justin Dunn has been on the Mariners' radar long before he was acquired in the now-famous Robinson Cano-Edwin Diaz trade. During his junior season at Boston College, Side speculation led many to believe that the athletic Swing righty was the Mariners' the preferred choice with the first draft already. selection of the Jerry DePoto era. But after Justin Kyle Dunn Lewis fell to the Dewar. Seattle Mariners the with the 11th pitch. pick, Swing somewhat surprisingly, Dunn would go to the Mets three. just eight picks later. But as DePoto was prone to do, he kept close tabs on Dunn, and he jumped at the chance to acquire him for the first time. After a promising 2019 season in Double A, Dunn came up for a cup of coffee in September, but his 5.2 innings in 2019 really didn't leave much room for analysis. But Dunn did make the opening day rotation this year as part of the six-man rotation, but his season has been uneven to say the least. The biggest concern with Dunn thus far is the total lack of control in pretty much all of his starts. Dunn's walked a staggering 38 batters in his 47.1 big league innings, and he's posted just 41 strikeouts. The nearly 1 to 1 K to base on ball ratio is unacceptable for any Mariners pitcher, and honestly, it's a bit odd. Dunn's a good athlete with a simple and reputable delivery, but it's kind of hard to ignore these numbers. Dunn's also seen a slight drop in his average fastball velo. Dunn was billed as a guy who sat 91 to 94 pretty comfortably as a starter, but in 2020, his average fastball is down to 91.2 miles an hour. And when you watch him pitch, he has sat comfortably at about 88 to 90 for most of 2020. And he's only touched 93 miles an hour a couple of times. This might be deliberate to try and improve his control, but without knowing for sure, we have to be slightly concerned here. To call Dunn's 2020 anything more than uneven is kind of a stretch. Unlike Yusei Kikuchi, Dunn has actually been worse than his ERA indicates. Dunn's 4.20 ERA is a good number, especially for a rookie starter in his first quote-unquote full season, afternoon, but his 6.25 FIP and his 6.42 base on ball per nine, along with his 92.3 mile per hour average exit velocity, all paint a troubling pitcher. Dunn's been using his curveball as his primary breaking ball as well, putting off throwing the slider, which is the more effective of the two pitches. Dunn's future could very well be in the Mariners' bullpen, but at 91 miles per hour with a mediocre curveball and an average slider, he's not going to be of much value to anybody, including Seattle. But speeding up his delivery could see the fastball jump back up into the mid to upper 90s, which is where he was at Boston College, and make the slider more effective in shorter stints, similar to what the Mariners did with Edwin Diaz. Dunn doesn't need to move to the bullpen right now, but he shouldn't be guaranteed a rotation spot on opening day of 2021. A long stint in the minors may ultimately make the most sense for both Dunn and the Mariners. And there needs to be some serious growth this winter if Justin Dunn wants to remain a starting pitcher for the Seattle Mariners organization. 